Hi guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to pseudofly, what is a pseudofly and also pseudofly bind. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm not like super happy with everything, but yeah, I'm pretty new to the whole editing stuff and so on. So don't judge me too hard, but I still hope that the video helps you and also the binds. And thank you very much for 100 subscribers or even more like now 114 or something. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I also really appreciate it if you see me in game and write something nice or something like that. Uh, I've had a few people do this. Thank you very much for your support. And now let's go to the video. Okay, so first of all, what is a pseudofly? A pseudofly is a flying technique in T-Worlds that allows you to have way more air control compared to a normal hammerfly. Because with this technique, you're not touching the other T. In a normal hammerfly, you rehook every second hammer and in, betw in between you bump into the other T. And after you bump into him, he bounces off of you and you hammer him again and so on and so forth. And in pseudo flying, you don't do that. You rehook every hammer and you don't allow the other T to bump into you with his body. So you basically just let him get into the hammer range, then hammer him and never allow him to touch you. This makes the fly much more stable in the end and also easier contr to control if you have mastered the pseudo fly. I'm going to show you a video comparison now of the usual hammer fly compared to pseudo flying and you will see what I mean. Now let's go on to how to pseudo fly. So if you're in a game like me and you have nothing turned on or anything, you're playing with your dummy, you just turn on deep fly. If you don't know how to do that, go into one of my other videos where I show dummy settings. And either in the video or in the video description, you will find the deep fly bind. Basically everything it does is whenever I shoot, the dummy hammers me one time. So you don't need more than that to pseudo fly. And yeah, so when you start, you go just right next to your dummy, you hammer him once. And when you go above him like this, you can see my inputs on the bottom left, by the way, so you can do it just like me. You go above him and yeah, he hammers you again like that. Now, if you're above him, you will hook him towards you so that he stays with you. And every time that he go gets too close to you, you release the hook so he won't bump into you. And you shoot again so he hammers you. That's how it works. Basically, you're almost just um, shooting and hooking at the same time Yeah, that he gets closer to you. And you try to have him stay very near to you because if he's far away like this, your hook is strong and you won't be able to stop him from bumping into you anymore. So this is how to do it. You don't need much more than that. I obviously fucking suck at sort of flying, so please don't judge me in the comments. There are people like, like Chica or Plant Knight who are way better. Um, but yeah. Now I'm gonna show you how to make it easier to sort of fly than this because you have to press shooting and hooking and you have to move right or left and shit like that 
with the bind I'm going to show you now, it makes it a lot easier, at least in my opinion. Okay, so now to the bind. This here is the bind for Pseudofly. What it does is it binds your hook key, so mouse 2 in my case, I think, in like everyone, everyone's case, but yeah, it binds this button to hook like it did before, nothing changes there, but to also make your dummy hammer you once. Now, plus toggle basically just does this. Toggle usually toggles between one and zero. So that means if I press a key one time, it switches either from zero to one or from one to zero. So your dummy hammers you zero, he doesn't hammer you. One, he hammers you, okay? So plus what plus toggle now does, it makes the command only turn on if you're pressing the key, like at the, at the moment. That means that if you only press the key for like one millisecond, it will only hammer you one time because it's just for one, it's just active for one millisecond, you know? So that's what's, what this plus does. It, it's only activating as long as you're clicking the key. And this is what's activating. CL dummy hammer is basically the command that activates the usual hammer fly. But since we're only activating it for like half a second or so, it only hammers you once. Then this, what it does it is it turns um, this command later in the, in the chat. There's a command that says, oh, this bind is on and so on. Uh, it turns it green so you can see in the chat, oh, it's green, it's on or it's red, it's off, you know. Yeah, that's what's this doing. This is just a, yeah. It tells you in the chat that Pseudo flies on, as you can see. And then you bind to whatever key you want. You bind to turn the Pseudo fly off again. And now Pseudo fly off, of course, just undoes everything. It uh, binds, first of all, it unbinds mouse two, but it, I'm not really sure if this is necessary. Um, it binds mouse two to just hooking again, like normal. Um, then chat message red because it's turned off red, you know, and it's saying sort of fly off and you're binding sort of fly on again so you can turn it on whenever you want. The only thing I would recommend you to change in this document if you're getting it from me is to change the key um, at which you want to activate and deactivate the pseudo fly bind. Um, I chose V, but it's really hard to read for me. I just have no buttons left because I have so many binds. And yeah, choose whatever key you want right here. Okay, so now, so I'm pressing V on the keyboard, as you can see in the chat. Oh, you can't see it that good, but it doesn't matter. Pseudofly is on right now. I'll show you right here. Pseudofly on. And now what it does is uh, turn deep fry off. Every time I hook like that, my dummy hammers me once. <clears throat> and that allows me to Pseudofly like I just showed you, but without having to actually time the hammer anymore. I just have to hook him. In my opinion, that's really helpful, especially when you're starting out learning the sort of fly. You only have to concentrate on the hook. You can basically pseudo with only one key. I don't need to press anything else, as you can see, but my right mouse button. And if you're timing it correctly, you can pseudo fly with one key. Now, of course, if you want, you can um, go left or right, doesn't matter. You can fly basically everything with it. It's just that I'm not that good sort of flying, um, but yeah, in theory, you know, you can do it. 
yeah that's how it works and now on to the recommendations I have for you now to the tips and tricks I want to mention first um, thing is a big disadvantage of the bind I just showed you and the big disadvantage is you can't hammer reset first of all what is a hammer reset when you're pseudo flying and you're fucking up your fly that means you're bumping into each other or anything like that you can reset and start a new pseudo fly mid air by letting your dummy fall catching it after it got a little bit off you so a little bit distance between you and your dummy and you hook him towards you again and just when you're hitting him you hammer each other so you kind of flying in the same direction when hammering i'm gonna show you a video and that allows you to have a good distance to your dummy mid-air to switch to your pistol and start flying again that's the common technique to reset a pseudo fly now with the bind the problem which i'm gonna slow you in slow motion now is that once you hit your dummy towards you after he fell off a bit he will start hammering as soon as you hook him towards you so he won't hammer you when he's reaching you he will hammer before he even starts reaching you you know because of the bind that to te that tells him to always hammer when you're hooking that's the big problem with the bind but whatsoever when you're using the bind you can always just let the dummy fall into any freeze and after he fell into the freeze which is the case a lot the case uh, in a lot of in a lot of times you just do that and by letting him be in freeze for a second he can't hammer you once you're hooking him and he will only hammer you after you unfreeze him when you hammer him so i'm gonna show you an example of that and you will know what i mean okay so if you want to change the direction of your pseudo fly it's always best to let go of the directional keys for one or two seconds and afterwards start putting in the reverse key so the key to the other direction because if you instantly move to the other direction you will just fall off from a T like that uh, yeah instantly so wait one second and then go in the other direction okay that makes it way easier try 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 it out yourself but you will see that's the way to go now next thing is pseudo flying isn't super broken I think you you don't need pseudo fly in like 99.9% .9 of every map so you can basically finish every map in ddnet without having to pseudo fly it is it can be a useful technique if you've mastered the pseudo fly and if you're flying perfectly it's super nice it's super useful it looks good but if you haven't mastered it like me i also suck um, it's just not that good as soon as you miss one hammer your fly is fucked and you have to fly normal again as soon as yeah, you know something happens you can fail the run so don't get your head onto it too much you know uh, next thing there is no bind for timing the pseudo fly or a bind that you know just does the pseudo fly for you there is nothing like that so there may be people out there where you think oh my god he has to have a bind for that it looks like so scripted but i'm actually pretty sure there is none um 
it is impossible impossible for a bind to wait or sleep or time anything. The only thing a CFG file or a bind uh, does is it executes one bind. It executes one command or a few commands in a row, but you it's all done simultaneously. So you have to have any key that you have to press to hammer or hook or do anything. You can't chain anything together like the, with with sl sleeping in between. You can't have anything like that. I tried around with it. I asked people. It's it's not possible with binding at least. I even tried to write a bot or a script that basically detects whenever the second key uh, T is close to you, so you ha so he hammers you and you rehook him and so on and so forth. Even that um, it didn't work, and it's also illegal, so I wouldn't do it anyways. But I was curious if some people may be using it. But I'm pretty sure now that they are don't. It would be super hard to make something like that. So a bot or a script that does that, it would have to be pretty intelligent, I would say at least. Because not only he has to time the hammer perfectly, he also has to yeah, hook the perfect amount of time and something like that. It's I'm telling you it's not possible. Or at least in at the moment it's it's not possible and it will never be possible with just binding that's for sure um last thing is always pseudo fly with anti ping on because it makes anything so much smoother it basically predicts the movement of you and your um dummy instead of getting it from the server, which causes the fly to be yeah, much smoother. Um, at the moment I have like 30 ping, which is really, I don't know why, because I have like 10 ping in every game because I'm living near Frankfurt. But keywords is just something else. <laughs> Even though I'm, I think I'm, yeah, I'm John Jer1 and it's in Frankfurt, I believe. So yeah, but even if you only have 20 ping, it doesn't matter. Just turn it on for pseudo flying, it will be better. Try it out yourself. Even I, I never play with anti ping, but it's just better for pseudoing. Um, and the last thing, which is not even that important, and I think no one of you will do this because it's <laughs> kind of like shitty, but um, I would recommend maybe not using any of these weird looking skins because skins like the default skin have a better, yeah, you can see the hitbox of the T way better. And when pseudo flying, it's really important that you can figure out how close your dummy is and yeah, how close you are to the dummy. So if you're using some random, I don't know, fatty skins or whatever, it will be way, way harder. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to actually install the bind. <clears throat> so go into the video description of this video. Go join my Discord via the link in the description. Once you're in my Discord, it will roughly look like this. You will be in the info channel. And then you go to Pseudofly bind. And there is the two CFGs. Download both, put them into your data folder in the game files. Write this once so the bind actually works in your game console. So press F1 and that's your console and it will work. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them right here and not anywhere else. Either write them in t help or send me a private message. So once you've downloaded them, go to your PC program uh, files, steam, steam apps, common, dd race network, dd net, data. And then put those, all your binds, whatever binds you have, those are mine right now, 
um, put them in here, execute them once in your console, and it will work. Thank you guys really, really much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, uh, you can give it a like if you want. If you disliked it, please tell me what I can do better next time because you know I'm still still learning to making videos. Um, if you know anything about the Pseudofly that I didn't mention in the video, or if you have any different bind that works better or something like that, please share it with us in the comments. And yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.